Hello everyone, this is Sayon Mark 3 and I'm resuming my let's play today on Mass Effect 3. Uh, last time it was a very short session dealing with the orbital gun facility on Tachanka which had been rebuilt by Cerberus. This time I'm continuing with my objective which is to play all the missions on Tachanka and the last one is the Shroud Facility, working on the cure for the Genophage. So, here we go. Let's see what this great Shroud is all about. Full stop. Hostiles detected at the landing coordinates. Joker, what have you got? Sensors show a Reaper parked at the Shroud Facility. No way you're going to be able to land a shuttle there. Get everyone assembled in the war room. I want eyes on the Shroud. Aye, aye, ma'am. New form of Reaper, Shepard. Using Shroud to poison Tuchanka's atmosphere. Problematic. They want to fight! They just got one. Primarch, we're gonna need your help. That could be difficult. Our losses on Palavin have been catastrophic. Uh, I know, your forces were getting really hit hard. But still. We're doing this for Palavin. No one said it would be easy. What do you have in mind? A combined attack. Your people hit the Reaper with an airstrike. Rex, at the same time, your soldiers will be attacking from the ground. Together, you can draw it away from the tower. Yes, distraction. Small team can reach Shroud Facility, finish synthesizing Cure. We'll need Eve to come with us. Well, I'd have to ask what is to stop the Reaper from coming back and doing the poisoning again. But I'm sure that someone will come up with something for that one. We've never faced a Reaper up close like this. Everyone on board? There's even a doubt? Let's move, Pijak. It's time to cure the genophage. Commander, incoming message marked urgent. I'll put it in the comm room for you. Dalatras. Commander Shepard, we know you've reached Tuchanka. And by now, I imagine Morden Solis has proposed using the Shroud. Are you spying on us? Hardly. The Shroud is the only viable course of action open to you. Commander, you can't allow your misguided sympathy for the Krogan to cloud your judgment. Do you honestly believe curing the Genophage will end in lasting peace? <sighs> oh, Delatras. You are the racial leader, but are you really that prejudiced against the Krogans? We have to give the Krogan that chance. You can't condemn an entire race to extinction based on what might happen. What will happen is the Krogan will reproduce out of control. We uplifted them specifically for their violent nature, not their diplomatic skills. Another war is inevitable. What do you want, Delatras? Years ago, our operatives sabotaged the Shroud facility to ensure what you're planning couldn't be done. Morden will likely detect this malfunction and repair it. But if you ensure that he doesn't, then the cure's viability will be altered just enough so that it fails. No one will notice the change. You mean trick the Krogan? They need not be any the wiser. Let Erdnot Rex believe you fulfilled your promise. Morden would never stand for that. How you deal with him is up to you, Commander. We can provide you our very best scientists to build the Crucible, and the full support of our fleets. If I sabotage the cure. Think about it, Commander. The choice is yours. God damn it. Um... Uh. Well, she really, really doesn't want this going through, does she? Hmm. Sure, the Krogan are violent, but they've actually got some good leaders and other forces at work with them now. Like Eve and the female Krogan. And Erdnot Rex for the males. 
which is actually pretty useful, I think. Uh, right. Yeah, let's take Garrus and Liara. A nice, reliable combination. But yeah, Deltras really is asking me to pick between friends and people I've already fought besides for a race like hers, who is actually a good race. I will say that, but she's trying to play the cards very close and get things exactly her way. It's not exactly a good thing to do, I think. Go with that. And for the hours, SMG. Let's give her a Tempest. There we go. Don't think I need to do anything with Garrus's stuff. And all my stuff is fully loaded as well. Should be. Uh, hmm. Well, I always need the capacity on that one, definitely. Because I just keep running out. Same with that. I need the ammo. Um, I would say. No to the pistols stunner mod. But the thing is I'm I'm against the Reapers, so I know I'm going to face husks. So I'll probably need the pistol for that. Four points. Four points. I do not want to really use it. Uh Garrus, let's increase his overload a little bit. Nah, the area's got a load of upgrades. Hmm. Hold duration by 30% or increase its radius. Let's go for the duration on that. 25 damage per second. Not too good, really, that. Um. Expand the single out field by 35% for 10 seconds. Or when the single out field dies, inflicts 375 damage. Hmm, that, that's a pretty hard one. I think I'll optimize it for fighting against groups, so that's let's expand. And there we go. Oh, please insert disc 2. I thought for sure this was going to be one for disc 1. <laughs> oh well. I, I know I'm going to have to do something with the Delatras at some point though. Because of the, the way she's been acting. Maybe she's right about the Krogan, maybe not, but I do think they still deserve a chance. I mean, sure, they were uplifted like that, but that was, what, centuries ago? No point in condemning them now for that. I've ordered the clans to assemble at the Hollows. It's our sacred meeting ground. We'll land there and take an armored convoy against the Reaper. This will be the defining moment of Krogan history. Krogan history filled with defining moments, most bloody. Hope this one better. Commander, you seem troubled. Yeah. For better or worse, I'm going to 
play this straight. I got a message from them. <sighs> Rex, it's Reeve. The Reapers are already at the hollows. Come out with guns blazing. Hang on tight. We're heading in. away from the female. I'll sort out what's happening with the other clan. Everyone pick your targets and keep an eye on our six. Now move. Well, this is a warm welcome, isn't it? Um, husks, I need all piercing. Push forward. Don't let them get up here. I hear you, Rex. Gets. It's no time for sleeping. We almost got them all. So many husks. They'll sing battle songs about this someday. Reaper blood has finally soaked our soil. We have to get to the Shroud. The airstrike is on its way. Female safe, Shepard. Vitals are strong. What's a Solarian doing here? Nobody said anything about this. Multiple Krogan. Problematic. Hmm, indeed. Well, I can understand why they don't like seeing you here. Who are you? Erdnot Reeve, brood brother to our illustrious leader. <laughs> Reeve and I share the same mother and nothing else. For which I'm thankful. I remember what it means to be a true Krogan. <laughs> we flay our enemies alive and drown them in a geyser of their own blood. We don't invite them into our home. Except for the fact the Solarian is not actually your enemy. Thank you very much. This Solarian is not your enemy. He's here to help cure the Genophage. His kind gave us the Genophage. Why should we trust him? Because I do. And so will you. 